There are several specialized art and design high schools in New York City that require you submit a portfolio of your artwork. The first on the list of art portfolio requirements is a self-portrait using a graphite drawing pencil and paper done from observation. These are our top five tips for drawing your self-portrait for your art portfolio. Number one, draw from a mirror. Self-portraits will turn out best when drawn from life and using a mirror is one of the best ways to achieve realism. Place a mirror directly in front of you and your drawing surface. Take a photo when you have the angle and expression that you'd like to refer back to in your position later on. Many students use a three-quarter view where your head is posed about halfway between front and profile views. Also, play with the lighting source to enhance the light and shadows you see. Number two, start with a contour drawing. Before you start on your self-portrait, warm up with a few five to 10 minute contour pen drawings. A contour drawing is a continuous line drawing where you look at both the subject and the paper, moving the pen over the paper very slowly and steadily, drawing an outline of the subject. A contour line drawing is essentially an outline drawing that uses no shading. Number three, plan with a light sketch. Start your final drawing with a light sketch. Using an HB pencil, lightly sketch the shape of your head, the outline of your features, and your headline. The goal here is to get the proportions and and placements correct. Also pay attention here to composition, the placement of your head on the paper. Consider the space around your head. Positioning the head further up on the page tends to look better than dead center. Number four, spend extra time refining your features. Spend equal time 50-50 looking at your reflection as much as you look at the drawing. Really look at yourself, the actual shapes of your features. Don't rely on the shapes you've become accustomed to drawing as symbols of eyes, lips, etc. See how each feature changes the depending on the tilt and angle of your head. It's capturing your own individual features that makes the drawing unique and interesting. Number five, add shadows and tones from light to dark. Using a graphite pencil, build up tones and shadows in layers. Use straight or rounded motions to draw on the paper. Do not smudge. Start to add tones and shadows with an HB pencil, then gradually use the softer, darker pencils, meaning 2B to 6B, as you progress. Using the softest, darkest ones at the very final stages. Look to see where the very darkest darks are and the lightest lights are, and make sure there is a broad range of tones in between. And here's a bonus tip. In your sketchbook, practice drawing each feature separately in varying angles. Closely study each part one at a time and see how they differ depending on the angle.